there are two groups of people. You got a boy or girl or a man or a woman. What boys do is they point the finger at other people. That's what boys do. That's what girls do. When there's a challenge and you start pointing the finger, you'll never get to the next level. When there's conflict, I want you to look at it real plain. And I want you to say, do I throw people under the bus or do I take responsibility? But understand every time you point the finger that what you say to your dreams and goals is, I'm about to put you on hold. The minute you start pointing the finger, you lose power immediately. As soon as you start saying it's somebody else's fault, what you do is say, I'm a child and I need somebody grown to handle this. When you say he did it and she did it, you're saying, I'm 10 years old, I need mama to come in. I need daddy to come in and fix this. It's too much for me. You gotta take ownership. I take full responsibility. And I'll do whatever it takes. I take ownership. I'll get up, I'll stay late. And that's why you point the finger. That's why you say he did it and she did it. Because you don't like how the pain feels. That's why you give the power away. Because it hurt too bad to say, I did it, I take ownership. It was my fault. You ain't ready for the pain. You've never looked at yourself in the mirror and said, you let you die. You owe yourself. I didn't get here making excuses. No, I didn't grow up on that side of the town. No, my mama don't have no network. No, I don't know a whole lot of people. No, I'm not at a country club, but I'm still gonna be successful. I'm still gonna get to where they are. Why? Because I owe it to myself. And can't nobody stop me but me. And you need to get rid of them excuses. You need to stop pointing fingers at people. And you need to start pointing fingers at yourself. What did you not do? The decisions you make right now is up to you. Take full ownership. Hold you accountable and don't let you off the hook. I'm talking about you. The only person that you can actually control, you. That's who has to take ownership. That's who has to step up, own everything, and lead. I value myself enough to give 120% or don't do it. At some point, you gotta be f***ing tired of not being number one. You have to be, and you gotta f***ing play angry, and I play angry. It's always you versus you. You gotta be the one to get up every morning, be disciplined, put in the consistent daily hard work because that gains success. No coach, no trainer, no mentor, no boss can do it. You versus you. I need you to look yourself in the face, and I need you to repeat after me, this is my life. These are my dreams. I can have whatever I want to have. I can be whatever I want to be. I can go wherever I want to go. I can do whatever I'm bold enough, whatever I'm big enough, whatever I'm strong enough to dream. And what I need to do it is already inside of me. My goals will not be defeated. My dreams will not be defeated. I will not be destroyed. I will defend what's rightfully mine. These are my dreams. This is my life. And from this day forward, I will live it. Take ownership. Take extreme ownership. Don't make excuses. Don't blame any other person or any other thing. Get control of your ego. Don't hide your delicate pride from the truth. Take ownership of everything in your world, the good and the bad. Take ownership of your mistakes, take ownership of your shortfalls, take ownership of your problems, and then take ownership of the solutions that will get those problems solved. Take ownership of your mission, take ownership of your job, of your team, of your future, and take ownership of your life. And lead. Lead yourself and your team and the people in your life. Lead them all to victory.